Alright, welcome back everybody. It's Malik. And we're on basic 10. Only one more to go after this one. Alright, we're going to have to change gears here. He's, Sam switched on us. He learned something new. So basic number 10. This time Sam used a more temporary and hidden approach to authenticating users. But he didn't think about whether or not those users knew their way around JavaScript. So if we go on to basic 10, all it says is please enter a password to gain access to level 10. Okay, this one can get a little tricky. It, well, only because it, it, it's completely different from what we've already done. We, we've dealt with directory transversal, we've dealt with server-side includes, we've dealt with HTML, we've even done some firebug stuff by changing this code but we haven't played with JavaScript now a big hint here is that it says uh, in the very beginning back out here that he used a more temporary and hidden in quotes approach to authenticating users. Okay. So we have to understand how users are authenticated. And it says, okay, well, he didn't know that people would know JavaScript. So that's your keyword there. You need to look up JavaScript. You also need to understand how users are authenticated when they type in a password. What is sent back and forth so two machines can communicate or authenticate each other? There is something that is sent between them. It happens all the time now. So your trick here, your little research that you have to do here is uh, take a look at some JavaScript. So just, you know, Google JavaScript commands. You can even, if you want to, point you in a little bit of direction here. Look at JavaScript alerts. And that temporary thing that he's talking about is a cookie. Okay, so do a little research on JavaScript alerts and cookies. and then play around with some stuff, see if you can figure it out. I'll give you that, that, that dramatic pause again, but give you some time to figure it out. If you can't finish out the video, I'll show you the command line you gotta type in. All right, so here we go. Go at it. Okay, so if you've done some research on JavaScript alerts, we can, uh, no, we're not going to do it in the password field. Again, we can't really do anything in the password field except for put passwords in. But whenever we put a password in and it's validated, uh, something's going to happen. So let's just put in a password really doesn't matter what it is submit oh crud forgot to do something sorry about that I have completed this mission before so I need to actually clear my cookies um, so let me go in am I gonna yeah I'll go ahead and do all of it There's my cookies. I'm going to clear them. There we go. Okay. There we go. Submit. Okay. Oh, duh. I cleared all my cookies. I logged myself out of my, my own site.
Okay, there we go. I'm logged back in again. Here we go. Please enter a password. There's my password. Submit. And you are not authorized to view this page. Okay. What we did, we submitted our password to them. They sent us back a cookie that basically changed the page on us that told us we were not authorized to view it. Now we can't view cookies the way we used to. We can't actually, we can type something up in our address box to view our cookies. I'm going to go as far as to show you this part. I'm going to type JavaScript colon alert open parentheses document dot cookie close parentheses semicolon hit enter this shows you the cookie that was sent back to us it says level 10 underscore authorized equals no don't worry about the rest of it what can we do to change the cookie to authorized equals yes okay so this is what we're going to do and we can keep it here because we're just going to modify the cookie the cookie's not going to go anywhere after we modify it we're going to keep this line here the javascript colon alert open parentheses document dot cookie but after the word cookie we're going to do equals level 10 underscore authorized equals yes okay close quotes now we need the quotes I'm sorry at the level 10 so what you're typing in and then the semicolon at the end what you're typing in is this we viewed the cookie with just this first part right here this is typically what we call a, a parameter tamper where we're going into the cookie that we have this cookie here on this page and we are changing authorized from no to yes so you type that in the box up here hit enter you should get a dialog box that says level 10 underscore authorized equals yes click on OK go ahead and hit your back arrow type anything inside of this box and submit it Ugh. they're having problems with the site again Try it again. Type in anything inside the box. Submit it. And they had this earlier tonight where they have problems with the site. And I had to go all the way out. Oh, crud. There we go. I'm still logged in. Let's see if we can at least get through this one. basic missions we've already manipulated the cookie all we got to do is submit it oh, it's not gonna let me submit it there it goes I could refresh the page 
uh, you should get the congratulations you completed basic 10. Alright, so the trick to this whole thing was just typing in any password to where it would send you the cookie that restricted the page. And then we did basically a JavaScript injection that manipulated that cookie from authorized equals no to authorized equals yes. You then go back, put in any password, doesn't matter, it doesn't care, it's not going to look at it, it's just taking a look at the cookie. The cookie is what lets you in. So that's a little bit of JavaScript exploitation. That was a pretty fun one. That one that one took me a little bit longer to, to play with the cookie, the way cookies are hidden now. They're not as out there as they used to be. Um, used to be very easy to view the cookie. Now they've gotten a little bit more tricky. Alright guys, we've only got one more. This one. And I'll tell you, this one had me stuck for four or five days. Just couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure it out. Every time I thought I had it, I, I got stuck at another wall. So, we're going to hit that one here in just a couple minutes. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed these past ten. One more to go. Then we hit all realistic missions. Alright, so uh, if you like the channel, please give me a, a, a thumbs up uh, on the videos. Um, subscribe to it. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. I'll be more than happy to do it. But, uh, until Basic 11, I'll see you.